friends, it's Miss Molly here with May and Harper, and I know you guys have been learning about oceans this week, and I wanted to do a fun science experiment with you guys. Some of you have already been doing the sink and float, but I want to take it one step further. How can we get two of the same things to sink in some liquid and float in another liquid? Because if you put the same thing in the same water, it should do the same thing. But if you have the same thing in two different liquids, I think we're gonna see something different happen. So I've got some of my supplies together. We have two eggs, regular eggs. They haven't been cooked, so hopefully I don't break them. I have got some salt. salt, six tablespoons of salt, and I've got two jars that are the same, so they should look the same. And I have a big pitcher of water, just plain water out of the sink. So my girls have already put some salt in our little dish and we've got a spoon we're gonna stir it up with and I'm gonna put plain water into this jar. Right up to the lines. So I know exactly how much water I'm putting in. And Harper, will you take your egg yes. and put it in the water gently? Gently. And let's see what happens. Just in plain water, our egg sinks. It sunk right down to the bottom of the jar. Well, now we're gonna make a new solution. I'm gonna put the same amount of water in this jar, go right up to the little lines. And then Harper, will you pour all of that salt into the jar? And May, will you stir it, please? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good enough. Good enough. <laughs> and May, will you stir it up, please? Use your spoon. And let's stir it. We'll clean all that up later. Yes. Here, have, have a go. It's not fun unless you're making a mess. And guess what? With messes, what do we do? We just, just clean, it, clean up. it up. No big deal. Stir it all up to make it dissolved into the water. You're gonna to get to, to be able to see how you don't really see the salt anymore. It's mixing into the water. And what happens is it makes the water more dense. And dense is a word you guys will learn a lot later, but it makes it a little bit thicker. So the egg that floated in the regular plain water, it might do something different in this dense water. The salt water is a little bit more dense. All right, let's see what happens with this egg. Put the spoon down. And May, will you gently put this egg into the salt water? I don't know if you guys can see. There it goes, floating around. Where is it? Is it at the bottom of the jar or the top of the jar? Top. So what does that mean the egg is doing? Floating. It's floating because the egg is not as dense or as thick as the water is, the water is making the egg float. So let's see, I wanna try another experiment. Can you put that egg back in there? Now that we know that a lot of salt will make the egg float and no salt at all will make it sink, I wanna see if we can come somewhere in between. So Harper, will you start adding some spoons of salt to our plain water? How many is that, one? one. Keep going. Two, three, four, five. All right, let's stop there and let's stir it around a little bit and see if maybe it'll start floating. Be gentle with the egg, but stir down at the bottom to get all that salt dissolved. gentle and stir. Let's get down in there at the bottom of it. Let's see if we can get some of that salt mixed in. The egg. I know it's cloudy water, but I want to see if we can see what happens as we start adding more salt to the water. It's gonna make this liquid a little bit more dense. No, don't add it anymore just yet. Let's 
see what this looks like first. It's not really floating, not yet. So what does that mean we need to do? More salt. More salt. Okay, let's stir those two tablespoons in and see what we've got. Oh, now what's happening to it? It's, it's kind of floating in the middle, isn't yeah. it? It's bouncing around because I stirred it, but it's hovering, not up at the tip top, not down at the very bottom, but right in the middle. So this has a lot of salt in it. This has a little bit less salt in it, but it still has more than the plain water. So it's a little bit more dense and it's gonna make our object float. Now the reason we're talking about salt water is because our oceans are made out of salt water. So maybe this summer, if you guys are swimming at the beach or you're swimming at your regular pool that's not salt water, you'll realize how it might be a little bit easier for you guys to swim and float in the ocean as opposed to swim and float in your swimming pool because that salt water is gonna make you float to the top. I hope you guys can try this at home and maybe there's some other objects we can try. I wonder what would happen if we used a toy, the same toy with the same jar, with the same amount of water, but only changing how much salt you add to it to see if that will sink or if it'll float. I hope you guys had fun watching this and making a mess. And you know what you do if you just make a mess? You just clean it up. Yeah, you just clean it up. <laughs> Have a good day. Can we?